On Saturday, after her health deteriorated while in detention at Nagalama Police Station, Mokono Municipality MP Betty Namboze was transferred to Kirudu Hospital for further treatment. On Monday morning, Namboze underwent another scan to examine whether the injuries she sustained during a scuffle in Parliament in September last year had worsened. So the condition is in the police cells, um, driving me around recklessly. And you know, the accident which was deliberate when they pressed me in the ambulance and the police patrol car came and knocked the ambulance exactly where I was sleeping. All this have uh, made my condition worse. Namboze still maintains that she requires further treatment in India before she can fully recover. It is not that I want to be taken. I was referred there and I was supposed to travel last Friday. However, the executive director of Mulago Hospital, Dr. Biaru Gababaterana, told NTV that there is no need to worry about Namboze's health since she's being handled by the best doctors at the hospital. She's not in danger of dying. She's in safe hands, the safe hands of the judges of the Supreme Court of Medicine, and we are doing our best. I cannot certainly reveal what we are treating because these are secrets between us as medical doctors and, uh, and our patients. But really, we are, we are doing our best. Meanwhile, Namboze's lawyer, Arias Lukwago, wants court to intervene and force police to release Namboze since she has been detained past the legally mandated 48 hours. We have resolved as a legal team. Uh, we are liaising with members of parliament, the leader of opposition, to take actions against this government rather take actions against the police, uh, against the government, the Attorney General and all other relevant state agencies that are involved in the perpetration of this uh, violation of rights. Lukwago says he said to petition the Uganda Human Rights Commission as well as defend Numbers' right to bail. If they are satisfied that actually the, the detention is illegal, that the, there is a violation of one's rights by keeping her under detention, they have powers and duties and obligations rather to order immediate release of that particular person. Namboze was arrested over comments she allegedly made on social media after the death of Arua municipality MP Ibrahim Abiriga, who was gunned down by unknown assailants. Ali Mivle, NTV.